All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Going into game number four. I haven't had a bad set of results so far. I do, however, feel like we need to put in at least one more copy of Ancient Stirrings. Let's hit him with the good luck, have fun. Oof. Is it bottle gnomes? There we go, bottle gnomes! Getting good at this guessing thing. Oof, still cannot keep this hand. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This hand, however, is a uh, born keeper right here. We don't know what the opponent's playing yet. We already have Tron online. We don't know if Relic's gonna be good. They could somehow get Tron back offline, so we could get it back online again. Or at least distract them with uh, the thought of us doing it on turn 3. Platinum Imperion, usually a turn 4 card, but since we have this, it's pretty much assuredly a turn 4 card at this point. So a turn 4 card into Ulamog. Turn 5. I think that seems good. Let's see what the opponent's playing though. I think they're playing control. Oof. Black? Why did they put black in there? Black has me thrown off. All the way off. I guess I could have waited until next turn to do this. They could have cleansing wildfire. Ice. I don't know what they're playing. Let's go with the cautious side. Ice tells me footfalls, but black tells me something completely different. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. So, at least now we're not there playing the Archon deck. And apparently my game froze, cause see, the time for them stopped, time for us stopped at 42. Alrighty then. This could be a creativity deck as well. Yeah, I think the creativity thought is actually correct. But it doesn't change what we need to do, and what we need to do is to get rid of their ability to do that. So let's go my and Yulamog.
Here's the Archon. Draven Mine. Creativity, just like I said. Force me to sack a creature and to discard a card. Swing in for two so they can get more artifacts to use creativity on later on. Let's go forest. I mean, tower. I said forest. And now we can get rid of two things. Let's get rid of their Archon and their Mirror Breaker. Because I don't think we're going to win at this point with just Ulamog. Like their deck has progressed too nicely. Also they could use creativity on our Ulamog. Which I think they use creativity on Ulamog. What creatures have been got? I think it brings out Emrakul. But then we would be forced to sack it because their Arkhan enters at the same time. Now we would le legit have no creatures to bring out. Destroying that. So I guess they're gonna use creativity on this and then swing in for two damage. What? They exiled my guy? Spell ley line binding. Darn. Okay, so there was a no chance here. Next time they creativity, they're probably gonna do it for two. That way they can get double archons out here. That's not a bad draw. Unless they have a counter spell. Thankfully they do not. At least now we have a blocker for two damage, so we take only two. Unless they're gonna prismatic command. One card left in hand for them. Could fetch back something though and play the last Draven Mine. Ay ay ay. So we might die to Draven Mines actually? Correction. Dwarfs. What is this? Goblin. We can't cast anything in hand, so let's put the big guy back. Fire nice two damage. Yo, that would be dope. The perfect sequence. They achieved it. Let's see what we're gonna draw next though. And then we're gonna Yeah, we would have survived. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that was a game. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Indomitable Creativity. 
Hmm. I guess the first thing I thought in my head was it's in one of the top tier decks. But it's not at this point, surprisingly. I just want to see the wording on it if Graf Stinker's Cage is going to actually stop it or not. Nope, it says exile the card. So, that would not work. Bitten Needle does work though. Ratchet Bomb, Tomat Script, Old Stone. Charge mm. out of Grave is good. Basiju needs to be named. Basiju and Renin 6. We know we're not casting Emrakul here. Karn Liberated is okay, Forge is alright, let's get rid of one Snaring Bridge. Just because we actually really really want it in this match, but it's not a card we need early in the game. I guess maybe another card? Lower the deck cost just a little bit more. Alright, so we keep this hand. We can avoid Bosiege right off the bat. Four lands in hand plus Snaring Bridge. That just tells us at least then Snaring Bridge is going to be able to do some work. They were not the one that was just ready to go right off the bat. Trying to watch something, but phone oh, keeps being weird. A motivational speaker. I don't know the guy, but obviously. Ah, yeah. you. If they have it, they take this. If they don't have it, they take this. But most likely, they're gonna take this. There we go, they have Basiju. We are in a world of hurt here, peeps. In a world of hurt. Now if they have running 6 plus that Basiju, oh my gosh. You might be game over. Might have to wrap it up. Oh uh, no, they don't do anything yet, so they're waiting to see if we actually get Tron online. Well, let's show them what we got. We do get Tron online, let's go force them to use the Basiju early. But then if they come back with the Renin 6, yeah, we're, we're gonna be in some hurt. What? Say it ain't so, it worked. Godsend. 
unless they counter this. That would feel bad. Oh no. You got me, opponent. You got me. Ain't nothing I could have done at that point in time in my life. I thought I was ready. And then I realized I was not. But we have double bridges though. So next turn, double bridge plus blast zone. Correction, I guess we just go on the offensive. There's no reason to not go offensive here. Because at least if they put tokens out, we could just kill them. Is this a... What is this? A drown in the lodge? Um... <laughs> I think they messed up there. They used the ice on a land that was already tapped. You meant to use fire on me, maybe? Are they trying to have mana for creativity before I snipe the thing? Hmm. Dang, I wish I could have sniped their token. I guess it wouldn't matter though, because they're about to create some artifacts. So they would still have something to use creativity on. Darn it, took a bridge. See, everything out there on the field, because why keep options in hand at this point, right? Because they just keep taking them away. Main thing here is we don't want them having any creatures. Would destroy the artifact as well if I could. But they seem to take that option away from me. Can't say I disagree with their play here. I would do the same thing as well, my guy. This means that Archon's not coming out doing anything crazy. Also means that our Sundering Titan's not coming out doing anything awesome either. She kind of sucks. <laughs> Tapping our tower. Just pretty awesome off the top there. Hopefully they don't counter it. Very nice. I like what I see on top there. I likes it a lot. For them to be at 5 life and we're at 20, it's kind of insane. Do we have a walking ballista in exile? I mean, yes, we have one on here. Let's go. All right, we got there. I was thinking for a second that I was game number three. Like, who we? That was a back and forth game. But I think at this point in time we're just 1-1, one, one, right?
Ay, 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 ay. Serum powder. Let's go. And then let's keep this. Nice, we have early game Tron. Is this a spell pierce? I'd kind of be impressed with spell pierce. Nobody I think has spell pierce this turn one yet. I'm gonna go take a look at what's in their hand. Because whatever it is, we already don't like it. Mm, Archon of Cruelty, no counter spells, Scowling Tarn, Wooded Foothills. Obviously, Running Six is the best thing to name here. I was mainly looking to see if they had a Besiege in there. They had a Fire and Ice, right? Let's see, they had five cards in hand. So it's 10, 10 cards. They had double fire and ice. And Archon and two fetch lands. I guess they didn't expect us to have something, but we do. Now they're probably regretting not tapping a land. Or maybe they just want to go ahead and kill Karn, but either way, exiling a land only helps us. So, two damage to Karn now, two on their turn, Karn dies, and we have to figure something else out. But I would say we're kind of in a leading position here. As long as we dodge a besiege you long enough. Dang, the destroyed spyglass. Okay, I didn't see that angle. But it does make sense. Tap in the tower. Let's use that tower's mana to see what we get. Nice, we get another Tron land. We lose two mana, but uh, sacrifices had to be made. Get blast on to two, blow it up next turn. Let's see, how much is how many how much man does creativity cost again? It costs at least four to use it. They will have four next turn. <clears throat> They'll have four next turn. So I think we have to go with the torpor war. Because even if we go kill the Renin 6 route, they can still get mana next turn again. They're stopping there on everything I play. Makes me a little weary of spell pierce.
Dang. Well, there goes Torpor Ward. Does this pass? It does. Only thing to get here is Sundering Titan. Nor a walking ballista. I think Sundering Titan is just better. I guess we'll keep Expedition up for now. And then we're just going to find Sanctum of Ugin. I'm expecting Khan Great Creator to die though. Sanctum of Ugin could go get Walking Ballista. trying to force us to have to pop expedition map already but regardless of whenever we pop it we'll still have mana to be able to go fetch something damage to my face. We have one mana left. Okay, so we cannot get Sanctum of Ugin. But we can just go get a tower. Alright, so let's be realistic here. If we put four drop first, and then we put this guy out, they can't counter it, they only have one mana in play. We we'll destroy four of their lands. They're gonna attack us and destroy our creature or whatever. So we're gonna take six, nine damage this turn. Living life on the edge, we literally have one more card to, s to draw. Huh, <laughs> look at that draw right there. Absolutely beautiful.
absolutely beautiful. Any two burn spells to kill us? Or just that? Let's go fetch a tower. That makes the scope on mana by one. It's a name running six. That's coming out as 6 so far, and then that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 mass, so it can go by 4. So 10 damage total next turn. <coughs> Man, what's got me sneezing? Sixty mana total, so it could still go by four. Gives them one chance to kill me, though. I'm not okay with giving them a chance to kill me. I'd rather be a hundred percent secure. We're gonna win or lose.
7, 8 is 4, that's them dead. That was so close. Oh, so close. So, so very close.